Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Ismail bin Alias and I want to ask you a question about hudud. Many people perceive hudud as cruel and unfair. So how do you respond to it? Thank you. The last question uh, posed by the brother is that many people or some people think that hudud is unfair. So how do you prove hudud is correct? Hudud actually means had. It means uh, uh, it actually means a limit, but in this context, it means the Islamic punishment. And depending upon for different crime, there's a different punishment. I'll give one example. That most of the religions as a whole, they speak good things. But Islam, besides speaking good things, shows you a way how to achieve that state of goodness. For example, all religions say that you should not rob. Hinduism says that, Christianity says that, Islam says the same. So what is the difference between Islam and the other religion? Islam, besides telling you not to rob, shows you a way how to achieve a state in which people will not rob. Islam first prescribed the system of zakat. That is, every rich person who has a saving of more than the nisab level, more than 85 grams of gold, he or she should give 2.5% of that excess wealth in charity. If every rich human being gives zakat, poverty will be eradicated from this world. There will not be a single human being who will die of hunger. After that, the Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 38, as to the thief, be it a man or a woman, chop of his or her hand. People say chopping of the hands in this age of science and technology, Islam is a barbaric religion. It's a ruthless law. And they think that if you go to Saudi Arabia where this law is practiced, every second person you come across will have his hand chopped off. I've been to Saudi Arabia more than 80 times. I have not come across a single person whose hands have been chopped off. Surely some people's hands would have been chopped off. But it's not as common as they think it is. And do you know today, the country which we look up upon, America, USA, do you know it has one of the highest rate of crime and theft in the world? According to U.S. Department of Justice, every second one crime or theft is taking place. You know, I am here since more than an hour, more than an hour. If every second, 60 multiplied by 60, already 3,600 crimes may have taken place in USA since the time I am here. I am asking you the question that if you implement the Islamic Sharia in USA, that every man who's rich has more than 85 grams of gold should give zakat 2.5% in charity. And after that, if any man robs, chop off his or her, chop off his or her hand. I'm asking the question, will the rate of crime and theft in USA, will it increase? Will it, will it remain the same or will it decrease? It will decrease. You implement the Sharia, you get result. So if you implement the Hajj penalty or the Islamic Sharia, anywhere in the world you get results. I'll give you another example. All the religions say that you should not molest a girl, you should not rape a girl. Hinduism says that, Christianity says that, Islam says the same. Islam shows you a way how to achieve that state of goodness. First, Islam talks about the hijab, which I already mentioned in the question answer session. That the man, when he looks at any woman, any brethren thought comes, he should lower his gaze. The woman should be completely covered. The only part that can be seen are the face and hands up to the wrist. After that, if anyone rapes a woman, he gets capital punishment, death penalty. The non-Muslims say, death penalty, it's a barbaric religion, it's a ruthless law. But when I ask them the question that, God forbid, if somebody rapes your mother or somebody rapes your daughter, what will you do? And if the rapist is brought in front of you and if you are made the judge, what punishment will you give? Believe me, 100% of them said, we will put him to death. Some went to the extent of saying, we will torture him to death. Why the double standards? Somebody rapes your mother, your daughter, you want to put him to death. Somebody rapes somebody else's mother, else's daughter, you say death penalty barbaric. Why the double standards? I'm asking the question. Do you know USA, which has one of, which is one of the most advanced countries in the world, which most of the people look up to it. Do you know it has the highest rate of rape in the world? 
according to U.S. Department of Justice, the statistics of 2013, every year 2,713 cases of rape are taking place. Every 32 seconds, one rape is taking place. We have for more than an hour, more than 50 rapes may have taken place in America since the time I'm giving this talk. I'm asking you the question, if you implement the Islamic Sharia and the Had rule in USA, that whenever a man looks at a woman, if any brazen thought, unashamed thought comes, he should lower his gaze. After that, the woman should wear the Islamic hijab. After that, any man rapes a woman, capital punishment, death penalty. I'm asking you the question, will the rate of rape in America, USA, will it increase? Will it remain the same or will it decrease? It will decrease. You implement the Sharia and you get results. That is the reason implementing the Sharia is the most practical law. You implement it any place of the world, you get results. Hope that answers the question. وآخر الدعوان الحمد لله رب العالمين. and he basically gives incentives to his helpers from the jinni. whoever does the best job today in misguiding Muslims, I will place the crown with my own hands on your head. disperse. then the jinn would disperse to do their mischief. The shaitan, he sits with his shayateen, they're giving him reports. So one shaitan says, I made this man commit zina. And shaitan, he just hears him. This is Bukhari and Muslim, so it's a sound hadith. And he, the shaitan, another shaitan comes and says, I made this man steal. I made this guy do this. I made this guy do that. I made this woman do this. I made this woman make, you know, remove her hijab.